Hello YouTube, this is Simon Lore bringing you more World of Warcraft lore. With this new series of videos, I wish to discuss the Eternals of WoW and their role on Azeroth. So firstly, what is an Eternal? Well, an Eternal in the WoW universe refers to any immortal being with divine or godlike powers. The Eternals are believed to be the shapers of Azeroth, changing it in either subtle or rather obvious ways. They can take center stage of a changing world or they can be behind the curtains pulling the strings. Eternals are oftentimes worshipped by the mortal beings of Azeroth because of the great benefits they can bring to their respective people or the destruction they can bring to their enemies. Without question, the Eternals that hold dominion over this small portion of the universe, or perhaps over its entirety, have played key roles in Azeroth's creation, manipulation, and attempted obliteration. With respect to the pantheon of Eternals who are actively worshipped on Azeroth, the Loa of the Troll religion are some of the most influential Eternals for a single race of beings. The Loa are the gods, demigods, and Eternals worshipped by the Troll societies. These Loa, unlike other Eternals that will be discussed in the future, are primal gods that represent various different animal spirits and natural domains. As a result, the number of Loas acknowledged by the Trolls is significantly larger than any other group of Eternals. The Loa, being primal gods, often take a physical form similar to the spirit in which they embody. The Loa of the Trolls are primarily viewed as being much darker when compared to other known Eternals. This is because these particular Eternals serve to represent very specific animals or domains of the world and thus care solely for that institution. The Loa do not care for the well-being of vastly diverse creatures, thus making them substantially more selfish than other Eternals. The Trolls have worshipped this pantheon of Loa since the dawn of time, several thousands of years before the shattering of Azeroth. The Loa were crucial for the Trolls' survival in an ever-changing and increasingly hostile Azeroth. The Trolls' dark religious practices and experimentation of voodoo magic were necessary to appease the Loa they have come to refer to as the gods of the Troll race. But in exchange for these dark offerings, the Loa pantheon bestowed the Trolls with the abilities to enhance their physical and magical capabilities leading to the continual survival of the troll race. As the great empires of the trolls shattered with the Sundering, a number of independent troll groups began to emerge. With this separation of troll societies came a differential in the Loa that they worshipped. Different tribes worshipped different Loa. With this first series of videos on the Eternals of Azeroth, I want to go over the different Loa worshipped by the trolls, as differentiated by tribes. The first of which being the Loa of the Gurubashi tribe. Thank you all so much for the support that you've shown my videos so far. Please leave any comments or criticisms you may have in the comment section below. Any suggestions could be helpful towards improving these videos. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.